beep. Oh, no, it just automatically shuts off. OK, so when we're doing a, when we're doing a problem like this, the exponential functions, I want you guys to see that e, as we've already discussed, is just a number, right? It's just that 2.718, right? So it's just another number. Treat it like another number. And if we look at these graphs, we know that the basic form of e here is still going to have a y-intercept at 1. And it's going to look something like this, right? So now, all we got to do is apply our transformations. So we see here, if you remember, when you multiply by negative on the outside, that's a reflect the x-axis. When you're adding something, or adding or subtracting inside the function, that's going to be horizontal shifts. Are you OK? So that's going to be three units left. And then when you add or subtract outside the function, which would be this minus 4, that's going to be a vertical shift. So this is going to be down four units. Okay, So my graph is going to look something like this. First, I reflect it. Right? I'm going to go left 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's my x-intercept. Go down 3, down 4. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, uh, well, you're getting, well, the, here's your reflection, is you're going to reflect. Yeah, you're reflecting first. And then one, two, three, four. We'll be down for there. Just remember kind of like order of operations can kind of think about that you're going to apply that you know, first. You won't want to go down four and then reflect. Um, all right. Now, the next thing is identifying what the asymptotes are, as well as your domain and range. You guys can see that the domain of this graph is still going to negative infinity to infinity. The range is going from negative infinity. But how high is it going? So remember, there's this asymptote here, right? It doesn't, it doesn't get to 0. So when you reflect it, that doesn't change. But when you go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going to approach that asymptote, which is at um, negative 4. And so therefore, we can say there's a horizontal asymptote, y equals negative 4. OK? There you go. Um, so I'm going to do four problems on the board for you guys. 